Back again, back again. <clears throat> focus, focus. Okay, so we'll see what comes of this. I may or may not put this up. We'll just see. Because, uh, nigga be lit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah. This is Unorthodox Nature Part 2 of the Jinnies. <sighs> and this was, I just want to say, this was fucking awesome. All of your shit's fucking awesome, dude. Especially just like, I'm a timing kind of guy. Uh, <laughs> kind of guy. Kind of being. So, uh, sometimes I get ahead of myself. Sometimes I get behind myself. And I have to realize when the timing is right. That's when, uh, the prime time happens. The rhyme time. Sub the sublime time. The fruit becomes ripened, and it's just, uh, it's time. And it's not something, and, and this is kind of, uh, what, what Zen Man has been talking about a little bit with, uh, in his past, maybe, I don't know, second to last video or some shit, about the scheduling kind of stuff. And this is exactly what is what it is and what it's like, especially whenever you're operating on certain levels. And you realize that whenever you try to plan shit out. Well, let me get my fucking shot ready. I, I know I'm going to need it. Whenever you're going to plan shit out. And you're operating on uh, certain frequencies. And what Zen said is the mind goes into work and operation. And what he means by that is the mind is in, you know, everything. Everything goes into work here. And what he's hinting at, though, and what I'll go ahead and say is certain energies go into play where they try to influence your, uh, your plans, right? And this can take the form of... Uh, Many different things. Many different modalities here. Of uh, fuckery. But essentially. What we're talking about. Whenever we're talking about. Deeper levels of awareness. And awokeness. <laughs> yeah. That should be a. A thing here, whenever you, you see people say that shit, I'm like, mm, mm hmm, okay. But basically, it's the influence here. I talked about this for a long time. I, I, I've been playing around with this shit for a long time with the influence and the levels of, uh, what's the word? The power of suggestion. The slick and quick and, uh, the slick little tricks that are played and that, that work their way in to our plans, our so-called plans, or even, and even beyond plans, it's our, our dreams, our, um, aspirations, basically. And for the time being, right now we're, we're we are where we are at. Our aspirations. You know, you're, you're either going to experience it for yourself or you're going to keep on the process where you don't understand what's going on and you think that you just have to bull forward and keep on at it, you know, and, and not change your ways, but just hard work and dedication and i'm not not dissing at all on hard work and dedication yes like that is necessary but what is even more necessary and critical and essential is the quality 
of everything that you're doing. The awareness. How aware are you of all the influences and the things that are going on, the processes, inner and outer, that stem from inside of you? Because anything outer is always going to be a reflection of your inner state. So what's going on here essentially is there are things that have attached themselves to us and that give little suggestions and and little little hints that hey maybe if you do it this way hey maybe if you uh you know engage this way ooh this could be cool but those things are going towards a reality that is benefiting A certain agenda. And essentially, it's taking everything away from the original creator being the individual. It's, it's raping through the process of convincing the individual that these little side effects, these little cool things to add on, these little side effects and add-ons are actually cool and, oh, they're, they're, they're something you want to engage with. But in factuality, in actuality of the reality that you will find through time, what plays out is that these little things you decided to engage upon and entertain, basically entrain yourself, you listen to the devil, but it's not the devil, it's, it's that thing that tricks, it's Loki, it's, it's, but it's the, you know, and when we, and when we say things like devil, Loki, the trickster, anything, angels, God, demons, there is always going to be a pro and con to that. There is always going to be a side that you can utilize and use to whatever it is and benefit from. And there is always going to be a side that distracts and succubuses, uh, incubuses, vampires your energy away. So it's up to you. You choose which one you want to engage. So yeah, this unorthodox nature part two. This was dead on for the times. Uh, I feel like a lot of us right now are experiencing this in that we are experiencing a reformation of sorts. A It's a deeper level of a gnosis that is going on and a recreation of who and what we are, what we thought we were, but then a realization of who we actually are, right? And then, <laughs> and one thing he says in here, and it's fucking beautiful, is that operating within, like, uh, ignorance, choosing that in a state that, in a place of supreme intelligence, you know, that's where it's at. 
and uh, you either understand understand what's going on here with this or you don't but essentially it's coming to the realization that if you really want to make a change and integrate yourself and see a difference and this is beyond being the change that you want to see this is I'm getting bored of being the supreme being so we have to come back down into this fucking mess that we're in and integrate and act a fool so that we can bring up actual fools up to our level that's that's what he's essentially saying that's that's essentially what this whole fucking thing is about right here you get you go up and up and up to a point where you're like you you have a choice do you want to stay there and uh act like you're better than everyone else or do you want to it's all in the feeling what do you feel or do you feel that everyone should be able to experience all of the highs and the lows because yes it's it's great and whatever to want everyone to experience and be in the love and in the co-creation and then the realization of what they are but you can't you can't just have that you have to experience the ups and the downs you have to with the highs come the lows and in experiencing both extremes then you can really begin to ground down and find the level find the balance in between the two polarities this is what he's talking about here finding the balance so yeah let's go into this a little bit as if he now truly embodied the character that had previously been made as that. Fact number one. I knew that. Where, where's that chrono at, man? I see. So yeah, he just said embodied the character, basically embodied the image that he created. And this can be pro and con. And we witness this time and time again in everything. People create and, and mostly niggas out here people out here creating images and characters and they're not realizing the process they're not realizing what they're doing so they're creating this and just diving right into it and becoming it but because they do that without the awareness that they're doing that they get lost within it so this is what happens we get lost in the sauce we get lost in the process because we're not aware of what's going on. And so, let's go into the aesthetics of this. And this is kind of why I wanted to uh, make this little video right here. For one, I was just feeling like I wanted to talk. And for two, the genie's fucking badass and I really enjoyed this. And for three... The word aesthetics was brought up. And there's no coincidences here. If you if you don't already fucking realize this. For what you're going through in your life. There's no coincidences here. Whenever things happen to you. And you're presented with things. And you come upon certain ideologies. And reflections of what you've been thinking about. The things that you have been thinking about other people will say and I know that a lot of you motherfuckers know what I'm talking about here in that this is happening more and more frequently and more and more rapidly and hopefully this is not freaking your shit out hopefully whenever this happens for you you're like mm, that's right that's that's right this is how this works 
I think it, you feel it. I think it, we both feel it, and you say it for me. But it's not just for me, it's, it's for us, which is the same thing. It's all the same thing here. You create the aesthetic, and then you own it. And when you create, and then you don't necessarily become it. You just you just put on the costume, and then the costume bans you. It's like it's literally like it's like the symbiote in Spider Man with Venom. And I've kind of talked about that in uh, in one of my previous videos with the whole symbiote and Venom thing. And yes, it can be like that. This is the positive aspect of taking control of what you're creating. This, this is basically like a Jim Carrey in the mask. This is creating your own mask, realizing what you're doing and embodying it. Being in control of it. Not allowing it to control you and becoming a different person. And then coming out the other end and realizing, oh shit, what have I done? This isn't who I am, which is what ignorant fucking people do. But, in, in like this awesome video of Jenny is, points out, when you're within the process of recreating yourself, You take control of the things that you want to become. And this is what it is. The aesthetics. And I'll talk a little bit about that word. Only a little bit because... I know there's some deeper level... Uh, integrations and looking into some research basically that I have to do with this not even research uh, what, what should we be reading that in search how about some in search some searching within with that word and the word that I like to use and how some people, some people are addicted to the addictions, just like Zen Man says. And I don't give a fuck about what anyone says. I'm just using things as reference points. Fuck what everyone else says. The only thing that matters, just like the Jenny says in this fucking video. <laughs> but... But once again, it doesn't fucking matter what anyone else says. What matters is what you feel. Because that's what you make real, motherfuckers. Do you understand? Feel it. Make real of it. Become aware of this process. Then you start understanding, understanding how things work. So let's see if we can remember the reference points here. Oh, making a living, like what is it? Oh, there we go. Because really, let's be honest, what it, once again, surviving, super living, just, to, you know? <laughs> Surviving? Are you in survival mode? Are you in f fight or flight mode? Or are you in super sub super imposition? Are are you in the omni position mode? Have you transcended the state of fear of what you? have been taught is real have what what you have been taught is on or off yes or no dead or alive 
Have you transcended these things through experience? This is what gnosis is. You experience it. And then you don't need anyone else's words for anything. You have the experience. And this is what I mean by direct experience. You have the experience. So you know now through that experience. And depending on how much you have learned to trust yourself, to trust your instincts, then you can let that experience guide you to towards truth. Or you will sit there and second guess yourself to no end and go around and round on the fucking psycho circus merry-go-round that you have been taught to live within. The choice is yours. What, 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 like, making a living, like, what is, how many people are really making a living? Are you making a living, or are you just, like, you know, coming out here and saying, yeah, I'll, I'll do that to get by, like, which one are you? And hey, you can be whichever one you want to be. Exactly. Okay, we're gonna go making a living. Hmm. Let's get down to what these words mean here. <coughs> After I drink the last of my whiskey, gin, absinthe, water, saliva, concoction. Okay. Making a living. What does this mean? Making a living. What does this mean for most most people? For what we've been brought up in. Creating a life. Creating a life within this construct and boxed matrix. Making a living, being a slave, I mean, boom, that, that's it right there. Slaving a living. Making a living, thinking that you are free, when in actuality, you are sucking someone's dick. Which, I said that because this is also something he gets at in here. Which, essentially, what he means by that is, you know, are you making your own choices? Are you... choosing to succumb to someone else's will? This is what he means by that term, or whatever. Basically, making a living. Just take those words and think about them. Feel more than think about them. Say them and feel them. Just and that, that's it. Don't don't think about it anymore. Say it once and feel it. What feelings arise and come about in those words for you? How this is this is the thing here that we that we are coming to the quality of living. What is the quality that we want that we desire here? Besides just being comfortable, making a living within the construct. You no, know, that's not any kind of living. That's a false sense of comfort and. A false sense of freedom. Because that's how the system was set up. If you haven't already realized. The whole shit was set up. So that you think you're free. Whilst while living. Within a prison. System. Q. 
cage. Which we'll get into a little bit deeper in later videos about how about how essentially we are taught these things and then we recreate them for ourselves. We are the power and we are the ones that create and recreate every scenario all the fucking time. So, like I have said, like I have hinted at, like I have read, not all cages are prisons because sometimes, at times, we become aware of the processes and we realize the things that we have to engage within ourselves, the aspects of ourselves that we have to engage so that we can come to understand them, so that they don't keep running amok within our awareness and who we are in our freedom. What that really means. If, if that, you know, if this, if, if that, if this ain't, you know, maybe this is, maybe this, if you're watching this and you're like, eh, nah, it's not for me, maybe, maybe next time, or maybe, if I can, or maybe not at all, maybe, maybe you don't exist, I don't know, hmm. but making a living, how many, maybe you don't exist, <laughs> first of all, I'm never gonna sit there and, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll call people out on whatever, but, with the genie and with specific people, I'm not going to necessarily call them out because I know where they're coming from. Even if they, even if they use certain words and terminologies that are limiting and are within the old paradigm, and I I hate that. I don't hate anything, but I don't like that word paradigm, just because it's so new agey and so many new agey people use this word. But use whatever you got to use to accentuate, to help yourself along the road of freedom within. People are really making a living. Are you making a living or are you earning a paycheck? <laughs> And that's essentially what it is. Like we have been we have been programmed into thinking that making a living is earning that fucking money. And then we have been led to believe that you have to go about a certain way into making money. You have to go about the institution way. The scholastic way. The way that the the academia way in which that is all based upon theorems and conjectures that whenever you really look into it and this is uh Eddie Bravo here <laughs> you got to look into it son Whenever you really start to investigate for yourself, then you'll start to realize how all these fucking institutions have been propagating lies. But essentially, it's just, you know, ideas. It's just theorems and ideas who, uh, They've encapsulated certain ideas so that this is, this is what they want you to believe. They want you to believe these certain ideas because it, it benefits their agendas, their constructs of control and machinations of what they desire. But essentially, because they leave these things up in the air, 
but then but then also at the same token say oh these are backed by certain institutions so obviously they're going to be legit and real oh you should just believe these things don't don't bother don't waste your time looking into them and this is also something here that i'm going to rant upon real quick real quick no, i'm not going to go into in, in depth in it but it, it is going to be fire because i am very fire prone with this Oh, I looked. Oh, oh, don't look into it. Oh, don't waste your time. Oh, if you would have just saw something how I see it, then you wouldn't have wasted your time. You wouldn't have wasted my time. Motherfucker. You are wasting your own goddamn time. Don't fucking bullshit me. Don't bullshit yourself. With the wasting of time excuse. You're the one that chooses to engage or not to engage. To engage. So... If you are putting blame onto others about wasting your time, that just that is that is putting yourself on blast and showing that you are that much of a fucking bitch. That you have no control over what you decide to take in and not to take in. So if you want to come at me with wasting of time, man, realize what you're doing. Realize that you are in control of your own fucking time. Time does not exist. You are the creator of so quote unquote time. If you want to engage or not to engage with something, that is your fucking choice. No one is wasting your time. You are the one choosing it. Fuck. Some of these people like I, I fucking engage with and talk to online and shit, which I don't do all that often because I don't, I don't want to be involved necessarily. I don't, I don't engage myself all that often with social media and shit of this nature <sighs> sometimes <laughs> I am uh, feeling the vibes feeling the spirits more than other times so Sometimes I call people out on their shit and they try to hide behind their belief structures. And I don't need to say anything else. I don't need to call them out any more than what I already did. Because this and this is something that, you know, everyone can learn a lesson from here. Speak your truth, call people out if you need to, but essentially, if you stand true to who you are and to, into your truth, and this is coming from a place of uh, just deep gnosis, this is coming from a place beyond conceptualization, beyond thinking about stuff, you, you just know it. You don't need to fucking talk about it or explain it, you just know it. And whenever you are up against a little bitch or someone who wants to, you know, be offended, throw that out there. Throw your gnosis out there and, and bear witness to what happens. They bring about their own demise every time. 
because they show themselves for what they are, who they are. Their lack of awareness, that's, that's what it is. All about awareness, quality of awareness. Qu what is the quality of the things that you do? Let's see if we can find the right spots. Even if, even if just for one project, look at what happens. And this could go in any field. And really, I'm going to talk about art more than anything because pretty much everything else out here is, is just kind of silly. If, if you don't understand that everything is art, then you're just another cog in the wheel. Everything you do is an art form. Everything you do is a creation. And when you choose to stop, listen, draw from inspiration, and create from that, then your art form becomes beauty and grace. But everybody in every field of every study, whatever it is, whether it's, you know, the bullshit legal system or fucking, uh, <laughs> and that's where I said I went there, okay. Or, um, you know, the practice of medicine. Yeah, I went there once again. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, wow. And this is a whole nother fucking random video here that I could get into. The practice of medicine. The legalese system. The indoctrination system. The dumbing down system. The system that makes you think that you can fall back on these institutions and government programs that got your back. They ha they, they're going to take care of you. And like I said before, yeah, oh yeah. They're going to take care of you, all right. People are attacking things in a very strange way. It's all, it's all, it's all profit oriented. Um, instead of actually being about yep. really making a difference. They put that, they put that whole narrative out there on the TV to get you to believe that things are a certain way. So they draw um, you in. But it's, it's very easy to see through, especially when you look at everybody. We don't have to get into that. That's another video. But I'm saying, though, all those people mm. come together. That's what happens like uh, like Hunter S. Thompson. Hunter S. Thompson had all different types of people around him. Mm -hmm. Politicians, lawyers, uh, photographers, fucking uh, musicians, actors, all these people. You bring all those minds together for a reason. That's what shit starts popping off, and you get all kinds of different perspectives. Because it's all about perspective. It's all about perspective. And the more perspective you have, the more abilities you can house. I was going to say possess, but it's really you're just housing. Because remember, housing is temporary. You know where home is. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. The home is where you make it. It's where you are. These constructs set up that they're to lead you towards a degradation. So it's up to you what you choose to fill your head with in the form of entertainment, of inspiration, or of inner divine contemplation, becoming the stillness and awareness, recognizing what that means, feeling it for yourself.
yes, perspective is important, but also realizing truth. Being able to see the difference there between people that think they know what they're talking about, that are regurgitating shit, or people that are talking from experience. And oftentimes, these people that are talking from experience, they are coming from a place where they are just wanting to express their experience. And with that, they are also saying, hey, this is just my experience. So take from it what you will. This is not the end-all, be-all here. There's no period after this. This is just my experience. So use, use it. Utilize it. This is, this is how we have to re, uh, reimagine and rewire our brain system from what we've been taught. This, no, it's, it's how we've been taught to think. How we've been taught to engage. Rewire this. Take in things from the outside, from what other people say, and contemplate it. Contemplate for yourself. Think for yourself, people. Then start to come up with things that make more sense to you. Then integrate more. Then things on the outside will present themselves to you so that those things make more sense so that you are able to find new pathways to re-engage and reignite the truth within. Truth has always been truth. It's always been there. Why are we in the state that we are in today? Because we have forgot how to intuit truth. How to know it. How to live it. We've been brought up in a system of bullshit. Of vampirism. Of a, it, This is a death cult. And, and I say death cult because it's, it's an occultation of, of words, of meanings. Death is not real. Death is a construct that you have been taught to believe. And so, because you believe it, you create it. And you, and you experience it. And you go in and out. Around and around. On the wheel of remembrance and forgetfulness. And yes... That is an important aspect to engage within while you're still embodied and alive. Because you do have to forget. You have to release the bullshit you have been taught. And then reintegrate and remember, experience the things that are real. That are true. Experience Gnosis. Let go of the rest. Let go of the bullshit. Okay, so I'll end this with uh, just some shout outs to, uh, let's see, uh, Juniperus, your UA priestess of peace and gnosis, and Danny Skylark, you are a constant inspiration to all of us. Constant reminder of truth and, and the, the power and beauty, the grace of poetry. The art within the fluidity. Of course, Skyhopper. You are... Uh, 
You are the Zen man. <laughs> you are. You are a big inspiration. A big reminder. To stay true to who you are, to what you are, to dive deep inside of that. You constantly inspire me, Skyhopper. I am Frog in a Box also constantly inspires me. The art and beauty and plant life, the, the knowingness of the plants, the songs and music. Very inspiring, heartfelt. That is what is felt, the heart. And of course the genie, which is who this video is for, you are. You are very timely with a lot of your stuff in in that what we're what a lot of us are going through currently. What a lot of us need to hear, even if it's a little brash and to the point and may <laughs> may potentially trigger and offend people who uh who aren't in the know as in in the gnosis, which is just beautiful because yeah it it should have that effect on people who uh don't understand their inner beingness. And then, of course, Zen Atman, who seems to be the center point in all, in all of this. Great awareness and things happening with certain individuals. And also, I just kind of want to say something that I said on uh, another person's video is that Zen, I feel like Zen, he shows so many different sides that he, it's up to you which, which aspect you choose to attach to and associate Zen at man with that. But, if you choose to keep on going and keep on witnessing all of this multitude of aspects in modes of awareness, then you'll begin to see a little bit what's going on. You'll begin to catch the feel of what's going on there. And the deeper you dive into it, the deeper you will realize Uh, essentially his heart. How big his heart is. Even, even if you happen to just catch a fucking video of him going fucking off, being completely wasted and, and just acting belligerent. If you stick with it, you will see. Where his true intentions are. And then things that he, are, he is doing. This is even beyond his recollection of what, what he is doing. This is beyond uh, most everyone's recollection of, of what's happening. This is being able to see beyond the now. Being able to integrate so much into the now. That you are able to see all nows. As if it were now. Because that's, that's how this shit works. It's all one now. You either, you either <laughs> experience that or you don't. But, but I'd like to encourage you, everyone, to experience this for themselves. To understand that there is no past and future. It is all one now. 
and you have access to all of it. All of it. There is no limitations. The only limitations is what you've been led to believe is limiting you. Limiting. And what you have adopted onto yourself. How you limit yourself. So yeah, that's about it for now. Just wanted, wanting to express a lot of appreciation. Um, just that this is very timely. We are all going through a lot of similar felt emotions and contemplations right now. And uh, it's not coincidental it's for a purpose and the more and more we go around this kind of programming of understanding what is really going on within and without this is a refinement process that we're in people and it's only going to get better if you keep on with it inside keep refining yourself keep alchemizing and realizing what's really going on I promise, I don't want that, to say that, but realize it, feel it for yourself, like, and, and you either know it or you won't, or you'll come to know it, that it, it will be worth it, it is worth it to go through this hell, at times it is hell, come out on the other end and come into love once again. And once you're there, you realize that, you know, even what you've come to understand of that word of death, once you're in that knowingness, the gnosis of love, death is, is, is humorous because it's uh, such a trans transitory thing. It's It's very... illusory in that in that it's only what you make of it and this is how we operate in, in reality you create your reality you create your belief systems if you want to attach yourself to any kind of belief system or what you choose to believe certain words mean you have to recreate and understand through understanding what these words mean you are constantly living and dying, constantly. Are you engaged and aware in this process or not? This is why what I encourage within everyone. Become aware of the processes that's constantly going on. Take control of what you are doing constantly which is creating constantly creating a reality know it feel it be it love y'all